Right, welcome back, guys. This lesson, we're going to quickly look at pylons. All right, so there's our pylon uh, structures there. You can see them nicely. Those are electric pylons, the specific ones. Pylons are frame structures that are used to support heavy objects over long distances. So you can imagine these long, heavy electrical cables are supported every now and again by these giant pylons. And the pylons have lots of various structures within them to help keep them nice and strong and sturdy. All right, so cross bracing is one of the examples where the little cross, uh, the structure is stiffened by members crossing one another and uh, they form a brace which then strengthens this entire structure. Okay, fantastic. And then we can have a quick look on the next little bit here. The, another way to keep your pylons uh, very strong and rigid is something called triangulation. Okay, when triangular shapes are formed by members that are used to brace a structure, triangulation helps to stabilize the structure as well from strong winds and things like that. Okay, so these uh, electrical pylons have a variety of designs. Some of them are designed to reduce the visual impact uh, on the area or the landscape where they are. And uh, then there's also something called internal cross bracing. So here we've got like a pyramid shaped um, pylon with this internal cross bracing that runs through the middle of it. And that is going to make it stand up to very, very strong winds, uh, probably even light earthquakes and things like that. It stops it from falling over very easily. And then it allows it to hold up those very heavy cables. All right, so there we have it. Pylons and uh, how they work and how they're strengthened. Okay, thank you so much.